Hey guys and welcome back to my Mayan village, Mayan village, Mayan village, it's one of those anyway, where I have been putting down all the dirt. I went around and actually made myself uh, one of these redstone exchanges again, which unfortunately got lost in the horrendous ra uh, radiation incident that happened back there, and uh, went around and put replaced most of the top layer of obsidian with dirt, which thankfully over time, grass has taken over, and because of the beautiful swamp, we've got all this variation in the in the grass textures here I, I think it's lovely i know a lot of people are like look how like dull this one is and i agree it's kind of dull but it's also nice to have a little bit of variation let's uh, go and see what they're doing up here quick they are looking to make a market okay i'm not going to help them though because man they, they're getting close to my base what are we going to do today we are going to let's get down here put the dirt away get a start on most of this advanced i say get a start tidy up this lot of uh quests here and then get a start on our reactor maybe maybe we'll go that far but the one i'm definitely working on at the moment is these um steve's factories one of the most advanced technologies for automation came about only shortly before the war a guy named steve invented programmable devices that use nanotechnology to accomplish almost anything the programmer could imagine nanotechnology it's pretty cool uh over here, I have um, laid myself out a chest. Now, the only thing here we don't know how to make are these atomic alloys, and I did that rather easily because it was just taking one of these reinforced alloys, popping it in the, not the chemical, the metallurgic infuser with uh, obsidian, and yeah, everything worked out great there. But I need to take this one here, and we need to go over to the beezes. Because I need to use the fabricator. I need to make one of these, like, ultimate control circuits to make the machine inventory manager. Right there in the middle, the ultimate control circuit. Thankfully, everything else, like the atomic alloy, just showed you how to make that. The vibrant alloy, we know how to make. Power management device, I mean, we know how to make this. The uh, ender crystal, I just happened to have one kicking around in my chest, so that was all good. Has this been made? Not quite. Come on, just a little bit more. Sometimes I really hate having to wait for these machines. Uh, you can see also I've got 64 silky wisps here. I'm just waiting for the propolis numbers to catch up, and then we'll be close to finished on that one. Uh, and I will talk you through what's going on with the majestic bees in a second. Uh, we need to get back to that great chest of stuff. Okay, the chest of stuff has turned into an inventory of stuff because we're going to turn to Twitch Yongi 5 here uh, and use his crafting bench. We're just going to pop these all up in here just so we can finish the quest, really. You know, it's it's kind of what we're all about. I kind of thought last episode was given over mainly just to, like, checking out the Mayan village, Mayan village. If you could tell me which one in the comments below uh, I'm supposed to be saying there. Uh, is it with a Y or an A? Like, Mayan, Mayan. I, I, I don't know. Uh, so there we go. We have done a few quests there while I waffled my way through. I am going to get these atomic alloys because they're like super hard to make, whereas opposed to mm, the inventory cable actually includes them. No, we're going to go with the atomic alloys. Oh, that, that was a little... Oh, the, the music didn't play properly. Oh, sad, sad time. Okay, the next thing I want to do is... Ooh, open architecture. I know... Um, we're all looking forward to AE, but I've got a feeling that's not really going to be as prominent as a lot of people would like in this. Mainly because Landstrider has just dropped the new... <laughs> Let me try that again, sorry. Mainly because Land Landstrider has just dropped the news that post, post for them number two is now available on Curse. Uh, so I kind of want to shuffle through this as quick as possible so I can replace this series with post for them two. I can't remember exactly what he called the, uh, the pack now. I probably got it up on screen. All right, so we need to make ourselves a computer case. I have no idea how this is done. I'm sure it's going to be a lot of mucking around. Okay, computer case tier one. Uh, a printed circuit board might be a little bit awkward to make. No, no, not at all, actually. Uh, okay, give me a second to go and collect some stuff. So, raw circuit board. We go and pop that 
straight into Twitch Yongi 5 for cooking. The next thing we need to do is start arranging stuff in order. Oh, I did not grab a microchip. That gives us something convenient to do whilst we are waiting for the circuit board to cook. Uh, microchip, brilliant. Then Twitch Yongi 5, if you could, please. I wish to take this from your inside guts. Oh, yeah. And then I think it's something like this. I can't quite remember. Let's have a look again. Yeah, it was there, chest in the middle, and everything all around like that. Okay, computer case tier one. All right. Right, cool. Now, there's going to be all sorts of things about putting stuff inside here. Do we want the computer? Oh, we're going to get all this anyway. That's good. Memory tier one, central processing unit tier one, awesome stuff. I think I'm going to go for the CPU tier one. Yeah, music. That's much better. Uh, is there anything else? Overlord, the electronics assembler. If you can master Lua, which I kind of have, uh, you will be able to build drones that will do your bidding. Drones. Task where the player has to craft a specific item. So in here is the electronics assembler. Let's have a look. Okay, once again, almost all small scale stuff. We've got the tier two microchip, relatively easy to make. Some pistons, a crafting table, the printed circuit board might actually actually be the hardest bit. All right, electronics assembler. I literally have no idea what this does. Should we do the classic putting it down, having a look, and then cutting because I need to go, oh, wow. Okay, I think we're gonna have to cut here while I go and check out the wiki. So I went online and had a look, and I have to say, all the wikis out there are absolutely diabolical. I couldn't find a single one that actually went into detail about how the electronics assembler worked. Thankfully, the Mighty Pirates, who literally five minutes ago I found out were the author of this mod, have done a few video uh, tutorial uh, series to talk us through all this stuff. So links down below for all of that. But we're gonna get on with doing some stuff and try and like fumble our way through it to see if we can do any great things here the first thing i'm gonna do that like i even shut down the game to go and check stuff out is i'm gonna claim this reward now i'm gonna claim the tier one drone case and i think i'm also gonna go for the disassembler i'm, I'm not entirely sure why that over the drone tier two i just gut feelings you know gut feelings so I was just about to go off on a whole 10 minute spiel about how to make drones and stuff and if I'm to be truthful with you, I actually did. But it turns out there are entire steps that we are missing. Uh, like to the point where I even made myself some memory, Let, let's have a look. It was just a printed circuit board, microchips and microchip tier 2, you know, nothing too out of the ordinary there. But for this to work, we actually need to get the computer system f set up first. So I feel we need to go to the computer cave. <laughs> So this is a space down below that a few of you may have seen before. This is literally just, you know, the stairway leading down to the crop room. The crop room's just there, and then the next stairway leads down to here. This, this was all silverfish. This, this was a quite a battle to try and sort myself out here. Uh, yeah, it was horrendous. This was also something over here where I went digging around trying to find bees. And in fact, if I stand here, that there's still some around. I keep trying to clear them out, but I have no idea where the majority of them are. But yes, we're down here to do computer case stuff. Now, I'm not sure where we're going to put the power, but I do know we're going to put the computer there. Wonderful, marvellous, and all the other things that mean good words. Now, inside a computer, obviously we need a CPU and some memory. Again, the memory we made earlier with computer chips, uh, sorry, microchips, iron nuggets, circuit boards. Circuit boards, nice and easy. Twitch Youngie 5 walks around with loads in him now because we're probably going to be doing a lot of stuff like this. Okay, so technically right now the computer could be turned on, but, well, aside from we're completely out of power but it wouldn't actually do anything because all we've got is a central processing unit and a memory card now operating system fairly easy to make it was literally just a disc with the open computer manual combined with it this was something else i did trying to get the drone to work but obviously doi that's that's not how it works let's um let's put these down somewhere as well down here there's an assembler there's a disassembler i can see a small power unit happening there with a power cord coming out in fact should we go and get ourselves a leadstone or something like that so I've managed to swipe a fully charged one from upstairs, so that's all good. I'm not sure how this is actually configured here. This one wants to be an output as well as that. And the one in the back is going to be an input. Okay, we can deal with that. So now hopefully we should be able to turn this on. 
Oh, and it beeps at us. That is because there is a whole load of stuff that we have not done here. The first thing we need to do is called the EEPR, uh, EEP ROM. I keep trying to say EEP ROM, but uh, there we go. All right, let's try and make this. Ah, oh, I did not bring any gold nuggets or redstone torches with me, but let me do this one quick. I mean, obviously gold was one of the more important bits. I mean, who does computers without gold? Okay, so now that I've made this EEP ROM, uh, we want to put it in there and combine it with this book that I made, literally combining a book with a microchip, so that, that's nice and easy to figure out, and we get the Lua BIOS. Okay, so we pop this into the little frame that is required. They're the EEP ROM slot. Uh, we also need to put an operating system on this now. Um, we turn it on, it gives us an error. I think maybe we should build an analyzer so that we can tell exactly what the errors are here. I'm just working from the tutorial that I was told. Trying to spot things in this sea of items is quite difficult here. So another redstone torch, transistor, printed circuit board and gold. Okay, we can definitely make that. Analyzer. So now we right click on this, shift right click of course, because we don't want to open the GUI, and it tells us down here, no bootable medium found, file not found. So it's trying to cook up the BIOS, but obviously it doesn't have an operating system. Uh, so we need to put one of those in. We need a disk drive, because unfortunately these lower tier ones, they don't come with built in floppy drives, because you know, lower tier computers don't come with built in floppy drives. So we need to try and make one, which hopefully shouldn't be too difficult. Indeed, I should have everything on me to make this. Wow, your inventory gets quick very, very quickly when trying to work with new uh, mods, I've noticed. Okay, so with that there, we should be able to pop this into the disk slot just like so. Oh, look, it even gives us a little representation of the disk there. So hopefully now we can turn it on. All right, it's booting. I believe there is nothing wrong with this. Number of connected components, no error message. That's great. But we cannot see what is going on here. There is no way for us to interact. There's no way for anything to happen on this machine. So we need to make a screen. And also, this computer needs some way of interacting with said screen. So we're going to have to make a graphics card as well. So let's start with the graphics card, which should be somewhere around here. Okay, card base, nice and simple. It is just three iron nuggets down the side, which obviously I do not have prepared. Gold, then printed circuit board. So that's the card base. Ooh, we accept cards. We got ourselves an achievement. There are a few other things we need to make. This memory tier one, thankfully, nice and simple. We had already made one before, so we should have remembered. But of course, with NEI here, there is no need for memory. Now, over yonder, we now need the algorithmic, no, arithmetic logic unit. This one's a little bit more uh, intricate to make, but definitely not beyond our skill. So there's all of these around here, one of those there. Uh, iron around the outside. Ah, uh, what was in the top? I'm gonna guess at a printed circuit, but a bit of redstone, okay. There we go, the arithmetic logic unit, the ALU. Then hopefully everything should just be putting this together in the right order. So that's the graphics card installed. We then need to make ourselves a screen, which should be relatively easy to perform. We've got all the iron we could ever need. And I even brought down a couple of bits of quartz with us. Um, so I'm very interested to see if they work. They do work, because normally I have to change them into glass, but putting the screen one at uh, screen at tier one there. Oh, look, we've got a little control unit. Let's uh, cycle the power again, shall we? And we can watch, look at all this stuff happening. Oh, it's amazing. Right, the next thing is we have no way of interacting with this machine. So, of course, we're going to have to build ourselves a computer. Now, this is cut. Wow, this requires all these button groups, which are just buttons. That's fine. We can definitely make those. Let's go and get ourselves some cooked stone, shall we? Okay, so we need... First off, arrow key. No, 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 that's not how you do this. Let's make half a stack of buttons, and then we need arrow keys. Okay, we can do that. A numerical keypad, that's the one to nine, and number lock and stuff like that. And then I think we wanted, I believe it was four of these. I can only make three with what I've got, though. That's all four. Now, it was these across here with that one there. The arrow keys in the middle and the numeric keypad has made us a keyboard. Nice and simple to make. You put it on the side, then you get to press any key to continue. Not enough memory. 
Open OS is 1.5. We Wow. Okay. We do not have enough memory. Let's press any key and continue anyway. Most programs can be interrupted by pressing Control Alt C. Not enough memory. Okay. Well, Control Alt C. Unrecoverable error. Interrupted. So, yay, guys! We did a computer. <laughs> So all I did was go in and throw in a second memory stick here. It was the tier 1.5 uh, made with the microchip tier 2. We've seen this sort of stuff be used before. You turn the analyzer on and you get all of this. Now, we were going to go forth and try and make some drones here, but... What are all these blocks in my inventory? Well, look how drab this room is. It's not... doesn't really scream twitchy style, does it? Though, come to think of it, neither do things like this hex plating and future block. But if we go in here and pop them there, Look at these ones! Aren't they the best? We've also got this void stone, which is a very, very nice looking on its own. I mean, just look at that. That is pretty good. But if we open up the chisel and throw that in there, look at all these! Look at all these. We also got these warning signs here, um, and there are just a variety of different things. Uh, now, I intend to put my reactor down there, so I think these are going to make a very good border... Did it just steal them off me? Oh no, they're still in my chisel. <gasps> Woo! So I think they're going to make a very good border along here. But yeah, let's not chat about these anymore. Let's uh, get our time lapsing on. <laughs>
Oh man, I think that time lapse went amazingly. How about you guys? Do you like the build? I really like the build. The purple might be a little too much. I kind of blend into it, but I also do like the way that's going here. You might be wondering why I'm leaving this side empty. That is, of course, because I'm going to put my reactor in there at some point. I'm going to clear out all this stone, probably blow it up with some TNT because I'm fairly sure there's a load of silverfish still in there as there are silverfish everywhere. But before I wrap up, there was one thing that I wanted to explain to you guys. First off, ooh, look, Allium. Uh, then round here, is it time for the beezes? It is time for the beezes. All right, we're going to leave these guys ticking over, but these guys in here, it's time to do some stuff with. So I'm going to take out the queen that we've been using to cultivate some of the majestics here, and then somewhere I should have a spare, oh, that's common, rocky princess. If not, I know that there is a spare hive around somewhere. Okay, so with this Rocky Princess, I'm going to take all these majestic drones, and I think you can guess what I'm going to do. I'm going to literally just keep pumping majestic drones into this Rocky Princess until it becomes a majestic drone. And with that force breeding, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, guys. I will see you next time where we have a whole load of other technological things to do. Things like getting the reactor going, maybe sorting out what those drones are about, and things like that but I will see you then when we're gonna do that bye